Hello and welcome. What we're going to be looking at in this video is we're going to be looking at the style and structure of feature articles. And what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the uh, way that they are written, first of all, the way that a author's opinion or a writer's opinion is incorporated into those articles, and just the general structure, style, and tone of how they are written. So to start with, we're going to basically look at how um, feature articles are a forum for writers, for opinion makers, to express that opinion using a fact-based argument geared towards whatever their agenda is. So their process of essentially standing on their soapbox and telling the world what's wrong with it, uh, or depending on whatever the purpose of the article actually is. They use a different pattern than newspaper reports. Now newspaper reports, the purpose of those are to be unbiased. All right, they are just a form of reporting the news. Whereas, with, of course, with a feature article, they will often have, and if you look at a newspaper article in a newspaper, or even just online, you'll often see not only uh, the article itself, but you'll see a great big picture of the journalist or the person who wrote it as well. So they're almost a part, as much a part of the article as the article itself. And the one thing about that, which is significant, is that because of the fact that the person who writes it is a larger than life personality, or so to speak, then their opinion, whether you agree with it or not, does matter, and it and it's something that does come through through what they write because of the fact that it is attached to them. It's attached to a giant picture, to a giant image that, that goes with it. The other thing that, of course, it goes with as well is it goes with a particular argument, it goes with facts, and it, it tries to report on things and to create change, to editorialize, to do all those things in a way where they don't have to have the same sort of restrictions as they normally would if they're giving an un, unbiased or, or even account of events. Feature articles are unashamedly unbiased. They don't have to have bias, they don't have to pertain to, uh, to bias. Um, or to impartiality, should I say. What they do need to do is they just need to be truthful, at least in terms of the facts that they use, and to not completely make everything that they're saying up. But apart from that, it's fair game. They can almost write whatever you want, or whatever they want, should I say. Okay, so what's different? First of all, as I mentioned before, the writer is as much as part of the article as the article itself and the content. They represent larger than life characters and people who not only are strong and prominent writers, but also have an opinion that's informed, often expert, often uh, one that which a lot of people agree with. So the feature article writers that you will see now, and particularly in uh, newspapers that you may read, are prominent personalities and have essentially worked their way into a position where they can write a column. They have a personal agenda and they're very much a, a, a platform for personal beliefs, where they have commentary as being as important as facts. And the way they often write it is, a, is an important vehicle as well. Now, yes, some feature article writers do attempt to show a little bit of um, even-handedness and impartiality, but even if that is the case, whatever they write is still their opinion, and so you can't treat it as an impartial article because they are using elements of their opinion, and obviously whatever... Um, whenever someone's opinion is involved, there is obviously an element of bias, even if who they're talking about is represented in a completely unbiased way. And the language and structure is also different. They are more of a free-flowing conversation. And that's one way you've got to look at feature article, right, uh, how they're written, is that they are a form of conversation. With use of figuratives, so they try and represent things in a, uh, almost in an imaginative way, um, kind of way and with emotional language. They're almost a form of storytelling as much as they are a form of journalism. So when you write one, for instance, if you ever get asked to write a feature article, whether it be for an exam paper or be it for another purpose, then the way that you would write a feature article would be to do just that, to first of all have a conversation and second of all to use things like a figurative and emotional um, types of language in order to get your point across and to try and tell a bit of a story that has to do with whatever it is that you're talking about. It's very, very different from an essay. If you try to write an essay like a feature article, you're not really getting the point of what a feature article is trying to do. 